Let's start our discussion of the Texas Instrument C55X instruction set. The C55X is a DSP and it has an accumulator oriented architecture. So for example an operation may take an operand and the value in the accumulator, perform the operation, and then put the result back into the accumulator. This is very useful for loops. Uh, consider, for example, uh, running some in, uh, in the FAR filter that we looked at. Uh, the the C55X has um, two forms of assembly language. One is a more traditional opcode oriented assembly language. The other is an algebraic form that's very useful for um, arithmetic um, operations. The um, system also supports intrinsic functions in the high-level language compiler, so you can call instructions on variables in your high-level language program. So for example, this intrinsic function takes two arguments, sends them to the SAD instruction, which is a saturation arithmetic instruction. Uh, the uh, words in the C55X are 16 bits long. A long word is 32 bits. Uh, instructions are byte addressable, and there are some bit-oriented instructions. Now, a register generally means any type of register, and we'll see there are many different uh, registers in the C55X. Accumulator specifically means one of the accumulators. Uh, now, most of these registers are memory mapped, meaning that uh, they correspond to locations in memory. PC is the program counter, XPC is the program counter extension, and red A is the subroutine return address register. There are actually four accumulators. Uh, there are each 40 bits wide, so AC0 through AC3 are the four accumulators. Uh, the different fields in each of these accumulators have names. So, for example, the bottom 16 bits of AC0 are known as AC0L. The, uh, Next 16 bits are known as HC0H, and the top bits, which are known as the guard bits, are AC0G. Um, there are several other registers that prof uh, provide things like arithmetic and bit manipulation flags. The, the SP register is um, the address of the user stack. The SSP register is the system stack pointer, and SPH is a data page pointer for both the user and system stack pointers. Uh, AR0 through AR7 are auxiliary registers that are used for different functions. The CDP register points to coefficients for uh, instructions that evaluate polynomials. CDPH is the uh, main data page pointer for that. BK47 is used for circular buffer operations, and it's, uh, it's also those instructions also use registers R4 through 7. BK03 uh, addresses circular buffers, and BKC is a size register for the uh, CDP. BRC9 counts block repeat instructions. Um, RSA, uh, OL, and REA, OL keep track of start and end points of blocks. BRC1 and BRS1 are used to repeat blocks of instructions, and RSA0 and RSA1 are the start address registers for block repeats. DP and DPH um, set the base address for uh, data access, so H in this uh, case corresponds to high. PDP determines the base address for input and output instructions. I IER0 and IER1 are interrupt mass registers. IFR0 and IFR1 keep track of uh, pending interrupts. DBIR0 and DBIR1 are for debugging. The memory map for the C55X uh, is divided into 128 data pages. It's a 24-bit address space with 16 bits of memory. Uh, data, program, and uh, input and output are all mapped to the same physical memory. Um, so the program space is 24 bits, the data space has a 23-bit address, the I.O. Um, space only has 16 bits. As we said, uh, many of the registers are memory mapped. They're mapped into page zero of memory. So the um, C55 offers several addressing modes. 
An absolute addressing mode uh, supplies the address and the instruction. Uh, direct addressing supplies an offset. Indirect addressing uses a register as a pointer. Um, so for example, in direct addressing, um, we can uh, access pages. Uh, here's the uh, stack pointer addressing for stack values. So we have the stack base and the stack offset. Uh, register bit addressing um, accesses bits and registers and we can use the PDP register to access um, data pages. The AR indirect addressing uses the auxiliary register to point to data. Uh, dual AR indirect addressing allows two simultaneous accesses. CDP indirect addressing is used for accessing these coefficients for polynomials. Coefficient indirect addressing is similar, um, but um, for instructions with three memory operands per cycle. There are two stacks, one for the data and one for the system. There are three different stack configurations. There's a dual 16-bit stack with fast return that has independent data and system stacks. There's uh, dual 16-bit stacks with slow returns, independent data and system stacks, but um, some of the instructions are not used for slow returns and a 32-bit stack with a slow return and the stack pointers are both modified by the same amount. Um, a move moves data between registers. There are several varieties of adds. Uh, there are uh, mul multiply and multiply accumulate instructions. Uh, flow of control such as branch, uh, conditional branches. Uh, there are also instructions to perform loops um, that will execute um, a, either a single instruction or a block of instructions multiple times. So we have some rules for writing good assembly code um, to, and particularly assembly code for loops. Don't use a function call inside a loop body. Uh, you know, function calls outside a loop are fine, but putting them inside a loop body slows things down. Um, um, keep the loop body small so that you can use these local repeat instructions and you should only use forward branches in a loop body that you want to use um, the repeat instruction for. Use unsigned integers for the loop counters. Use less than or equal to to test the loop counter. Um, and com the um, compiler for the C55X does a good job of global optimizations. Um, so for example, to use the single instruction uh, repeat loop, we'll set up a pointer to the source set up a pointer to the destination for this operation. Here's the repeat. We're going to repeat it this many times and it's a move where we're moving from the source to the destination. So we're doing this entire move of 1,023 operations uh, with the repeat plus one instruction. The subroutine uh, access is, is uh, with the call instruction. Um, conditional subroutine calls can be done with call CC. There are two types of returns. Fast return gives a return address and loop context in the registers. Slow return uses the stack. Uh, interrupts are handled using a mechanism like subroutines. It's a four-step process. Receive the interrupts, acknowledge interrupts, prepare the interrupt service routine, uh, prepare the, um, and then start processing the interrupt service routine. There are 32 possible interrupt vectors and 27 possible priorities.